What is up? So I got a team tour set for you today, and this is against my good buddy Damon. Uh, you might know him if you're familiar with the dojo. But yeah, let's get into it. Uh, this game, I believe, was a pack 2 mirror. We played a lot of matchups in our set. We played Unicorn versus Turtle, pack 2 mirror, and my pack 2 versus his pack 1. Um, I did end up losing this set, unfortunately. Just like my knob set. Went to game 7. And uh, we lost. I also trolled a game. Uh, he opened his opening game was with pack two mirror, and I felt offended, so <laughs> I pack one mirror to him right after. For those who don't know, Damon was the long time reigning master of the dojo for Turtle. Uh, he's one of the better Turtle players, so I hit him with the pack one mirror. I lost swiftly, but um. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. If I had maybe played pack 2 or pack 5, that set, or that game might have had a different outcome on the set. But, you know, we do a little bit of trolling. Um, let's see. Double puppy. Seems pretty good. Probably going to rip those. Buy them separately. Yeah, then I have double the odds of Bluebird hitting one of them, which would be nice. Speed her up. Yep, it does. Very nice. And having like potential on an early puppy triple is always good. It does have big gecko. It's kind of scary. And a pangolin. So it's kind of a hard board to overcome. We don't have a ladybug or a moth to kind of deal with it. I decide just to take this beaver triple. The, the shop was really trying to force it onto me. Usually don't do that. Bluebird mess. Do you hate to see it? But it's not like we're ever winning this fight anyways. He's got the big garlic gecko with hatching and pangolin. I don't expect to be winning these rounds. I'm going to rip the puppy triple probably. Eat a lobster, which inspires me to take another triple, which is another lobster. Which, you know, he is a really good tempo board. I'm probably never beating his board right now anyways. So hitting the early double lobster is fine. I'm probably going to be... It's going to be a pivot game for sure. Yeah, I can just, from the lobsters and his current board state, it's got so much tempo, it's just pivoting's kind of going to be my only way out of this. So that, get the lobster stats on the toucan, roll. Oh, take a hatching, because I think maybe I can win this round. Also take the meat bone. Get the triple. Hoping I can win this round. Ah, uh, we don't. We could have positioned a little better, maybe got there. Yep, we get can. I see a Doberman. I see a Stonefish. Probably gonna take both. Put all the stats in the Stonefish. We're at two. We really want to get the turn nine. He only has one big unit, and he's gonna combine his hatching, so he's gonna go down a little bit in tempo. So the Stonefish should always deal with this Gecko. Um, I am kind of worried that he also got a stonefish. Let's front my toucan. Just in case he ate, like, stonefish pie, which he didn't. So, we're good. Get there. Now we're looking- we're in a good spot. Like, this one li extra life we have really matters. Especially approaching turn 9. Look at another can. Looking for the lobster. We get the lobster. Half combined. Bye. Uh, now I know he's got melon. He's probably going to front Gecko again. So now I just front the Stonefish. It's a chili. Not enough. Get there again. Very good. Now we can start looking to pivot. we got to kind of get rid of everything. Here on a lobster board where I bought this many cans, I'm always taking this sauropod. Um, maybe I mess up order here. Uh, maybe I should have bought food at some point. No, it doesn't really make a difference because I... Yeah, no, I should have. Definitely. Let's look at that again. I, I felt like I made some mistakes this set, and I for sure do here. So I should have bought Sauropod. And then I can buy... Stonefish. 
I should have bought stonefish here. And then I could buy the lasagna and the pie. That puts me at uh, two gold. And then I could have sold lobster and bought stingray. I already have the lobster stats on the stonefish. That's what I should have done. Go with flashlight. I'm fairly confident I'm going to win this round. I could have had a much better like situation here. I could have had a pie and a lasagna. And just ended on stingray. Which, unfortunately, I think I, I have to do anyways again. So, yeah, I'm basically, I just lost a free pie in lasagna. This turn was horrid. But we had to end on something. I think that unit might matter. I did not keep these frozen. Yeah, I played this pretty badly. We get some stonefish. Don't really care. We have plenty of stonefish of our own. Stingray does get us the fight win, though. So it's good that we didn't four squad, we would have lost that, went down to lethal. Now I take all my food perks, take the poodle for a round. I like just having a poodle for like one turn. Take salt and sauropod. He is no tier six, so this should be good. Because basically everything on my board is built to kill. Got two stonefish, a doberman, and a salted sauropod. Gonna put the flashlight on him. You just get a level two flashlight in a turn. It is kind of scary. Double stonefish get us to this round. Another stonefish. You don't really care. Be a T-Rex and a steak. Um, decide that I don't want to do that probably. I just want to go tempo. Probably take the mantis shrimp. Both mantis shrimp and the steak. He's on two. Just go for the kill. I did want to kind of hit a toy first, but unfortunately we didn't. Here, I should probably position around him getting a mantis shrimp. I could position front stone or front sauropod or even just this stone, let it die to a mantis shrimp and trade his mantis shrimp would be fine. Definitely don't want it front. Yeah, I'm noticing a lot of mistakes this set. Yep, and that's exactly what happens. I don't need flashlight into his board. Just looking for chocolate for the mantis shrimp level. Here's another mantis shrimp just in case. Buy lasagna. Got sauropod. And I'll just probably end on melon on the big stonefish. Now I do what I should have done last fight. Don't need another melon. Yeah, that's two more mantis shrimp. Or three more mantis shrimp. So I would sell a stonefish for those any day. It kind of does something similar to us, but we get there with our back Doberman. Alright, then let's go back. Oh yeah, here are the last two games are played on pack 5. I won a pack 5 game with a high roll on the next game. I only hit one gingerbread man the whole game. Kind of ruined my Mermaline. It's unfortunate. But we're going to go over a loss now. See what we can learn. A double ladybug I take. Don't freeze apple. Freeze honey in these cases. Take bluebird. So far, I agree. Let's see, yeah, he's on pack one now. It's the good bluebird snipe. I think we lose that fight anyways. I guess there was ways to win it though. Don't need honey anymore. We got beetle. Really want to win the round, but it's gonna be hard to win this round anyways. Do have a good start here though. Have bugs, have bluebirds. So our our board is really overkill on attack. Yeah, not enough. Not enough health to win that fight. We do get drop fish. We hit double drop fish. How do we lose this game? I must have played bad. How do we lose this game? They must Let's see. It's ox. It does get a sheep spawn. Not sure if it mattered. Probably did. Probably take trop. Meat bone. Probably should have just stacked that beetle over the bluebird. Kept it for a potential triple. So it's closer to a triple. But I would also sell the beetle next turn for a toy. 
do get there this round. He does have two snails, though. Stack Ladybug makes a lot of sense. Croissant Ladybug is okay. Yeah, racing that guy is fine. I mm, kind of do want a Garlic Toy. Put it on my Ladybug. But he does have big front ox. The bee gets us there that round. Which is weird. I would kind of prefer to tie into his board. So we do get the garlic now. Yeah, probably going to buy this beetle anyways. So yeah, I should have bought the beetle earlier. You get the trout fish level though. That's pretty good. Our bluebird keeps hitting that beetle. It's pretty unlucky. Can't get through that round. He's got a big giraffe now. I'm not really in a setup to get assault. I do get chicken axolotl. Chicken's a lot better if I had one more life, but I probably gotta take the chicken route. Wonder if I could have gone axolotl this game. I still think it's probably chicken. This makes more sense. Stack the bluebird. I just want triples at this point. Hmm. Yeah, this chicken's kind of awkward. I would have really loved to see Moza on a board like this. I mean, the chicken's not terrible. He gets monkey, though. That's pretty good. Right, he's got two big units, one with melon. Kind of getting melon diffed, it seems, this game. Another can. We're rolling for two triples. I just decide to pill the chicken by a toy, hoping it can maybe win me the round. Maybe he fronts ox, and if not, I can still kind of value trade his rooster. I uh, don't know how I feel about that. I think maybe just rolling for the triple was better. Bluebird's still hitting the beetle. Ho I'm hoping this beetle can trade rooster, and then the, the bee would kill something. It didn't. Um, that's a rough fight to lose, but seems likely he's got Skunk and the huge units. His turn 7 was way better than mine, and it shows. Here I do get some good hits. I wish we had a Lobster still, or ever bought one. It's weird, we had a Scaling line, but we had to try to pivot because of our Chicken tier up. So Stonefish and Octo are good. Probably just sell Bluebird for another Stonefish. I kind of need as much tempo as I can. Still no scaling, though. Get a lemon. Yeah, I like freezing both of these. Uh, maybe we needed a pie, though. The lemon's probably better. This ox is huge. Do tie that fight. Maybe there was a way to win that fight. Oh, uh, grab lemon. Sense probably put lemon on the healthier stonefish to help him get a better trade. I decide to actually go for a stonefish level here because I get the stuff to do it. And also because he's got this giant ox and the stonefish isn't going to actually kill the ox in a trade. Also, it's just maybe, maybe I see a good tier 6. And to get there this fight, that's surprising. The stonefish are doing their job, but he has, he's scaling turtles, so it's hard to toilet paper scam him. Uh, he's got monkey 2 already, I didn't even notice. Has giraffe 2 the whole game. My only scaler has been tropfish. Sometimes, this game kind of feels like, I didn't, I didn't necessarily low roll, but he kind of high rolled. He kind of hit everything he wanted. God, we're 1 HP on that breakpoint, that sucks. And we don't shoot there. Yeah, this game was, I don't know, I don't actually feel too bad about this game. I did, I really feel like I played the game I won before this worse than this one. I just, he kind of hit hard. But yeah, that's how this game goes, you know. And especially at the top level of this game, there's a lot of luck involved. But I'm sure I did make some mistakes this game, but I really felt like I made more of the game I won. Kind of surprising. But yeah, if you liked the video, like the video, maybe subscribe. Have a good one, everybody.